Hello everyone, welcome to Pande Groji YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to discuss about the data analysis interview portion uh, which is asked in the ADP uh, company. So uh, basically in this video, I will uh, discuss the, in the detail the portion uh, which is very repeatable in the data analyst and uh, if you are preparing for the interview of the data analyst, uh, uh, this video is very helpful for you and uh, before starting, uh, if you want to purchase any course on my website, uh, uh, you can visit the uh, link is given on the video description and uh, you can take any courses and you can enroll uh, the courses related to the uh, SQL. Uh, I have completed uh, complete uh, package of the uh, training material, uh, the SQL interview question and uh, also the practice and the notes as well. So uh, let's start with this. Uh, uh, video uh, I will discuss the uh, five interview question uh, which is the very repeatable in the interview and uh, let's start with the first question so the first question is the what are the major challenge uh, faced during the analysis so if you attend any type of the interview uh, definitely you will get this question related to what challenging you uh, facing on the daily day to day activity uh, but uh, if you have, if you are attending for the data analytics uh, uh, interview, uh, they, will, they will ask you the what challenging you facing day-to-day uh, -day activity. So uh, data analyst, uh, the uh, major challenge they facing on handling the uh, duplicate value. Uh, you can also uh, 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 tell that handling the outlier as well. And the second one is the uh, basically collecting the meaningful right data and the right time so uh, sometimes the developer or the data analyst they perform they are not able to uh, extract the data correct data from the different sources and uh, they will might be uh, give the incorrect uh, uh, solution to the customer so uh, choosing the correct data is the uh, major challenging for the data analysis and uh, third one is the basically uh, handling data for doing a storage problem and the fourth one is the making data secure and dealing with the compliance issue. Uh, so uh, this all four points you can uh, tell during the interview. Now the next question is the uh, how you can how you can handle the missing value in a data set. So basically uh, to analyze the data, uh, you need to be replace the uh, missing value like the null value with the some type of the data. So uh, whatever the data you are representing to the client by using the any uh, visualization tool either Power BI or Tableau or the uh, if you using the Python as well. So the correct information need to be passed to the customer. So to handle the missing value in the data side there are uh, majorly four methodology. There are four methods need to be used here. So uh, the first one is the risk twice reduction. The second one is the average imputation. Uh, fourth one is the regression, uh, regression substitution, and uh, last but not least, uh, multiple uh, multiple imputation. Okay, so this method you can use uh, for the eliminating the uh, missing value. Okay. Now uh, the third question is the related to the overfitting and uh, underfitting. So uh, this question is the both for the data analyst point of view as well as the data science point of view so uh, whenever you uh, perform the uh, data cleansing okay like uh, you remove the null value and uh, you remove the outlier as well and you uh, uh, use the some type uh, machine learning algorithm and uh, if you can see some type of the data like take the example of the linear regression so some data is the uh, uh, whatever the linear line we have some data above and uh, uh, below so whatever the data point we have the ever so like this is the uh, linear regression line and uh, suppose this is the linear regression line so it, whatever the data uh, we have the data point uh, 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 above the line that is called the overfitting and what is the data we have the below the line that is the called the underfitting so this is the concept of the overfitting and the underfitting now fourth one is the how do you treat outlier in a data set so if you data analyst you definitely aware of the uh, outlier 
but if you know if you not aware the outlier i'm just giving you the overview what is the outlier is there so uh, the data which is the uh, we have the uh, uh, means uh, like for example suppose if you have uh, uh, price of the four, uh, five product like uh, price is 100 110 120 130 150 but last product price is the basically 1000 so if you take the average uh, it will be not the correct average because 1000 is the impacting on the average so this is the 1000 is the outlier so uh, by using the pictorial representation you can see uh, this data set have the like the uh, same uh, closing to each and every one but this data set this data point we have the outlier so to remove the outlier so that you will get the correct output so this is the concept uh, you use the uh, remove the outlier so how do you treat the outlier so basically uh, we can use the uh, uh, python library and you can see how many outlier is there okay so now the next question is the what is the difference between the where cloud and the having cloud? So this question is the basically related to the uh, database and the SQL. And uh, this question is already I uh, uploaded in my channel. So you can go and watch also in the detail. But I am just giving you the overview here. So where cloud is basically uh, use the cloud operator on raw, uh, raw data. But having cloud we cannot use without aggregated function so having cloud is only used with the aggregated function and uh, where cloud we use anywhere okay so that is the major difference between the where cloud and the having cloud okay so i uh, hope you understand all this question and uh, if you are attending the any type of the interview and if you are not able to answer the question uh, you can put the question into the uh, video description uh, video comment okay so i will take the question from the video comment and if you are uh, new into my channel if you not subscribe please subscribe to my channel and uh, hit the bell button so thank you so much for the watching this video i uh, will meet in again in next one thank you